All right, let's give these practice problems a shot. Determine whether the following compounds are ionic, nonpolar covalent, or polar covalent. So we can go through and figure out if a compound is ionic or covalent really quickly because we already did that. That was what we did in a previous video. So let's do that first. Remember, ionic is metal plus nonmetal, and covalent is nonmetal plus nonmetal. And remember, if there's ever a metal in a compound, it's always the first element. So really, I just have to look at the first element right here, and if it's a metal, it's an ionic compound. And if it's a nonmetal, it's a covalent compound. So H, that's nonmetal. This is covalent. Lithium, that's a metal. This is ionic. Oxygen and oxygen, that's uh, both nonmetals. That's covalent. Nitrogen, nonmetal, covalent. Potassium, metal, ionic. Iron, metal, ionic. Carbon, nonmetal, covalent. Nitrogen, nonmetal, covalent. Aluminum, that's A L, aluminum, ionic. Aluminum is a metal. Silicon is a nonmetal. Silicon chloride is covalent. Silicon is actually a metalloid, a, a semi metal. It's right on that line. Okay, so we've identified all the ionic ones, so we're done with the ionic ones. But the covalent ones, now we have to decide are they nonpolar covalent or polar covalent? So remember, to do that, we've got to look at our electronegativity chart and determine if the electronegativity difference is greater than 0.4. So if we look back at our chart, chart is here in your book or it's here in the lecture, this chart here, we can get all of the values of electronegativity for each element. And H is 2.1, oops. Two point one and oxygen is three point five. So that's a difference of one point four. Again, it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, we're just looking for the difference between those numbers. Uh, a O2, uh, oxygen and oxygen, the difference between those is zero. They're the same element. NH three. N is three point zero and H is 2.1, so that's a difference of 0.9. Ionic, ionic, covalent, C and Br. C is 2.5, Br is 2.8, a difference of 0.3. NF3, N is 3.0, Sorry, that looks kind of weird. It's hard to draw circles with this program. 3.0 minus uh, fluorine is 4.0, a difference of 1. And finally, silicon chloride. Silicon is, I actually can't remember what silicon is. Silicon is 1.8 and chlorine is 3.0. 3.0 minus 1.8 equals 1.2. So remember, according to our chart, if, a, if this difference is 0.5 or more, we call it polar. So H2O, polar. Uh, O2, nonpolar, that's zero. NH3, polar. 0.9 is bigger than 0.5. 0.3 CBR, that's nonpolar. 
There is a difference, but that difference is not above is not 0.5 or greater. NF3 polar. And silicon tetrachloride polar. Let's move this one over here. 